It is a big day here in Michigan, especially here in Metro Detroit, because today hair and nail salons, barber shops, spas, all reopening with strict new guidelines. This morning, Detroit Police Chief James Craig was one of the first people to take advantage of the latest step to reopen the state's economy with a haircut. You can see video of him getting that haircut at Detroit's Executive Cuts on Joseph Campo near Franklin in downtown Detroit. And with the case count still trending downward, manicures, pedicures, and haircuts, and something many of us have been waiting for for months, have been able to resume. And consumer investigator Hank Winchester joining us now live this noon with what a look. Well, look at what's being done, of course, to ensure that not only the customers, but also, of course, all of our stylists are safe. And Hank, I've been watching your hair grow over the last few months. I kind of like it, though. Do you? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. It's it's a little it's a little long. I could use a trim. It's coming soon. Trust me. I mean, this is a big day, as you mentioned, for those of us that need a haircut. Maybe those who've been waiting for a manicure, or pedicure, because now salons, barber shops across the state, they've been given the green light to open. We're here in front of the Hayes Barber Shop in Sterling Heights, and what you'll notice here and at salons all over Metro Detroit, some big changes. Take a look at some video. We were inside a little bit earlier. Uh, the customer experience is going to be very different as soon as you get to your salon or your spa. More than likely. Uh, you're going to check in like you do here with somebody at the door and then either wait in your vehicle or wait outside or in a waiting area until your appointment. You're going to notice that employees are wearing masks, customers being asked to do the same thing at many salons across the area, and social distancing is being enforced. Again, this is all in an effort not only to protect salon and spa employees, but also you, the customer. Uh, we had an opportunity to speak to one of the barbers here. Here's what he had to say. We're spaced pretty good apart, so we're, we're good. Everyone's wearing their face protection and hand protection, and we've all got alcohol and sterilized, uh, hand sanitizer at every station. We're just being extra diligent as far as wiping down um, the, the front door and things that clients touch more than we were before. Again, it's all in an effort to keep you safe. What we've noticed here is that when people who have an appointment make their way up to the door, they're either taking a seat here in these chairs, waiting for their actual time when their a barber is available, or they're just sitting in their car until it's their time to go inside. Uh, because of some of the changes at salons and spas all across the state, you're likely going to want to cushion in a little extra time. It does take some extra time to make sure that uh, everything is being done to make sure that everybody involved in this process is kept safe. We're live here this noon in Sterling Heights. Rhonda, back to you.